Everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays One Step from Eden. Um, I, I think we should still roll with the momentum we got, to be honest with you. And, uh, sorry, I had to alt-tab a little bit, just turning my hacks on. Um, try to win with some of the characters we have not won with. I think, I think that's our play. So I'd like to, we really it's down to Terra and Shizo and maybe Violet one day, but possibly never. Um... So let's do Terra, because we did a Shizo run recently. Shizo, I think, honestly, we've got it in the books. All I need to do to really, truly cement it... It worked. Is, um... Is not fight the shopkeeper. <laughs> Ooh, I don't mind that. And one of these days, without a doubt, one of these days we're gonna get the shopkeeper done. We're, we're gonna get that done. I gotta be honest, I do kind of like the idea of Ambient Burst, the card we've never taken. So it gets more powerful for every spell we cast this battle, which means you probably don't start with it. What gives you that idea? <laughs> but even then... Oh, what a terrible way to lose the Flawless. Such good damage. Even then, I don't think it's terrible on like the first pass, but certainly like as time goes on, it's gonna get better and better. I'm trying to think. F fires a sh five shot, or five damage shot. I will take an orbital beam, thank you. A five damage shot for each spell cast this battle. So it's minimum like, and we'll just take the spell power. Um, it's minimum like four, five damage shots on the first pass. I guess in a literal level, no, it's minimum Zero five damage shots. But, you know, in all likelihood, I think it's it's gonna be better. And it's gonna get better over time. It's gonna scale with spell power. I'm for it. I'm, I'm for all this. So every time we shuffle, we gain flow. So I actually think throwing Cold Stone into this deck is not really a problem. Um, and we want to save as many hostages as is possible. I'm choosing to just allow this to happen. Though it pains me greatly. <laughs> okay, now you can stop shooting me. Getting the extra spell power out of that. Yo, those were doing 22 damage each. Getting extra spell power out of that is going to be worth a lot. Dude, start with full mana as well. We don't really care about Trinity on this one, but hits a random row after 6 seconds. Breaks tiles can hit self. I've tried Prophecy before on a streamed run and made it to YouTube. And it kind of stunk. But I'm willing to give it one more try here. The real problem with it is that it totally screws up, like, our own... Um... Okay, you can do it. You can do it. It totally screws up our own dodging. That's okay. Just hit, please. I don't- I don't wanna- <laughs> I don't wanna move on to those who run into trouble. Did you see that, by the way? Um... I think we could take Tile Fire as well. We get, uh... 40 max HP when we save a hostage. Like, this is getting incredible, dude. We need the mana. Don't do it. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> oh, that was that was close. All right, passive defense I can definitely live with. I don't think we need the, the rock cycle. I know we got a couple of, of flow enablers, but mostly those were taken for, like, high damage potential. Oh. That's a weird one. Um, okay, Prophecy's gonna do some work. Just get the mana regen up there. You love to see- Oh, you love to see that. Dude, pretty good start. Not quite flawless territory, but still, like, mighty solid. Like, that, there's nothing wrong with the way that went at all. Okay, so I don't think Terra, we don't even have to worry about it. Terra's not our lady for uh, for going for a shopkeeper kill. Just focus on getting a good a good win here. And maybe we could try doing um, like some pseudo ascension style runs. Because I'll be honest, I don't want to act like we've got this all figured out. But whenever we don't fight the shopkeeper, the path to victory kind of just seems to work for us. Um, and we've, we've kind of got it all figured out, in my opinion at least. Splash damage I don't think is that high. I was really looking, or that that good I should say. I was really looking for like the maximum amount of... Uh... 
I don't even think we want to remove anything. Um, the maximum amount of like, you know, 25% chance for a flame, 25% chance for, for fire, like that stuff would have been pretty sweet there. That's okay though. Just want to land some orbitals. Half mana regen, half uh, otherwise. Oh, if I'd rooted him there, it would have been sick. He's still going. It's just going to take a minute. <laughs> On flow, cast it twice. On flow, pierce shield. Oh my god. Rock Tomb, I think, is pretty good. Um, but I don't think it's good enough when we can't cast it yet. But it might get there. So again, I can't stress enough, dude. Saving these hostages is of the utmost importance. We're getting max HP. We're getting spell power. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna make things extremely easy for us. I actually think, I, I've really learned that, in my opinion at least, the kinds of like status effects that you can build, that's so good, out of something that hits multiple times are really powerful. So I'm thinking that maybe actually Minefield, um, I don't mind the fragility I think, Minefield plus a chance to apply Flame or Frost is also very good. I'll deal damage on shuffle because honestly our, our health is in a pretty good spot right now this one for for all intents and purposes right now I think it's kind of cruising don't get hit there's no reason to get hit just land some of these we could be doing better by the way I'm not doing a great job let's go in my opinion of uh maximizing didn't quite get you uh mana regen and you can tell that because there's no Broken tiles on the enemy side when I said that. But apart from that, as long as we're getting flawlesses early, I'm very happy. Flow gives us spell power, which really combos super well into like our um, all of our multi-casted spells. Beautiful. Just, just what I wanted. And you just literally like whiffed with every shot that we have. <laughs> like literally yeeted all of our spells in the worst possible way so you know what let's put our money where our mouth is let's take minefield and we want to go packed heavy here if we go packed heavy this deck could start popping off like crazy so no upgrades available it's okay um upgrade me upgrade me upgrade me upgrade me <laughs> i think minefield with status effect extremely good I think that, um, I still think Flurry and Ambient Burst with status effect also get amazing. No Anchor is pretty good, I'll admit. And then, I think we can donate Blood, get one more upgrade. And Excavate is one of our higher damage spells as well. Apply Fragile on hit is really good there, even though the flow is not bad either. And then, I don't mind the Inverse Tile. For sure, though, we want to have a removal on lose 30 spell power, I think. We can get another pack later with our with our existing removal. And in terms of other upgrades, I think Orbital Beam goes pretty well. For this one, I think I'd rather have Fragile. We're not building a Frost run. Whatever Frost damage we get, if any, out of, um, out of Orbital Beam. Not Orbital Beam. I actually forgot what it was. Oh, the Minefield. Yeah, we'll just accept that, basically. Okay, so remember, I, I because of all this stuff on the screen, I feel like I can't see you. <laughs> and by you, I mean the boss. Okay, be very careful here. That's all right. We tried. Now I can't cross over, though. So it's creating a situation. We missed. The teleportation is, is, is hurting me more than I thought it would. There's no doubt about that. Now, just do not cast a spell on the top row. That's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still, you're still aiming to hit a classic mistake. Oh, get out of it. Get out of here. One of these days, just give me a second, okay? Get out of here. <laughs> All right, once we get this packed handled, though, I think we're going to be in a disgusting situation. I think it's going to be beautiful. Limit break is not for us. Um, seven seconds of invincibility at the start of battle. That might be enough to just force um, 
flawlesses if we're able to do damage quickly enough. Oh, we're still teleporting. That's right. That's exactly what we wanted to do. I, I can't believe I'm saying it, but it's the honest to goodness truth. We want to do this again. Okay. There you go. That's something. I got stuck on the rock, dude. Come on. Come on. They're impossible. They, they can't be beaten. Okay, so, so much for us getting a flawless there. Our HP is actually embarrassingly low, but I still think we're, we're kind of cruising right now. Frost is good, but I think we're building... Our deck is too disheveled right now. That's, that's my two cents. My deck is too disheveled. Definitely do not mind just taking the basic heal. I think in other games, we look at it as a sign of weakness. In this game, I'm like, you know what? I think it's, the, it's just the straight up the right play. Very lucky. That would have been a nasty hit. Remember, we get max HP, we get spell power, and we get whatever they were going to give us to begin with. Not what we want out of Prophecy, but this is going to do... Oh. Oh, I think we were still immune when that happened. Well, I was just going to say we're going to get a disgusting amount of damage when this comes to pass the old-fashioned way here. Oh, it is really good at dealing with the riffraff. Yeah, we were invincible. Okay. Okay, so, you know, this is around the time. This run's moving pretty quickly here. We're only 11 minutes in. This is around the time where I would start to be like... Oh, I was invincible. I was invincible. Don't freak out. Um, sorry, madam. Um, I want to start to get the deck cruising. I want to start to figure out where I want to stand here. And I think we're doing a relatively good job of it. Although I did yeet the nurse there accidentally. Take the luck. The money's not worth as much now that we've spent a lot of it. Because now we need more just to feel something. Um, oh, it's a perfect setup for this. I, I, I can't get in there. Um, that'll work. That'll work. That's not bad. Especially, we had so much invincibility time at the start. Okay, four spell power, also extremely good. Um, we, we have a lot of spell power. We might want to consider taking a small pivot to things that attack faster. That's that's my thought, but I still think we're, we're cruising pretty easily here. I really don't love any of these uh, packs. So I think we'll just buy like one more upgrade. And we got a ton of stuff that, that could benefit from an upgrade. I think we honestly might save. And the whole reasoning there, because you, you might be a little bit confused. Is just, uh... Want to maximize? Come on, send it! The value of our multi-attack things, I think those are just for the best right now. Like, those are, those are our best option. Yo, the fragility is going to be sick there, though. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Prophecy's a little spicy, but... So close to taking damage. It's too many broken tiles. Oh, my flawless! She's done. Okay, that was incredibly simple. <laughs> I, I think that we're cruising in a way that we have never cruised with this character before. Give me the upgrade. I think the upgrade, it's, it's just what we need right now. It's just solid goodness. We don't really want Trinity. We can take the heal just to give us more leverage, I guess, on the attacks, but... So I think Flurry and Ambient Burst both get a real benefit here. Although Minefield getting uh, Flame on it would be so hilarious, I have to at least try. 25% chance to leave a Flame. Okay, so, I mean, Minefield is a card that I've, I've respected for a while and then greatly disrespected. Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know what? I think, I think with the right set of upgrades, this could become a very powerful card. And I don't know if anybody else on this platform saying it. Doesn't bother me to say it, I'll say it. 
This is good stuff, dude. I might be overrating it. There's, there's always a chance I'm overrating it a little bit. You know what a huge help is in this game? It's just like, you're gonna laugh, but like literally... Just knowing what every spell does helps out so much. Because it means that even though I don't really have like a super... I don't really like that right now. Even though I don't really have a super unified uh, theme to my deck right now, I haven't even taken any focuses. At least not having to think about what the cards do is just amazing enough to, to kind of carry you. I mean, you're, you're witnessing some serious damage dealing potential coming out here. It also turns out reading the damage that a spell does is very helpful because some spells that don't have great text actually just do like a ridiculous amount of damage. I was still invincible. You, you can't hurt me on that one. Oh, that's good stuff. That's also good stuff. I'm even like not really paying much attention to the actual way that Terra generates mana in the first place. I'll just take the deal 10 on that one. And that's the sign that a deck is like... I think we could definitely do it. I think that's a sign that the deck is actually, dare I suggest, it's too powerful. Gain an upgrade but lose too money when you get hit. Easy. Create flames but gain 25 money. I'll take it. I don't think we need to use removal on either of those. I think we can keep saving, dude. And then I think flurry, again, getting a status effect is disgusting. What the heck is 20% splash damage, 20% splash damage? Doesn't even make any sense. Can we get a double cast on Glassify, maybe? Flame or Frost? We'll take, we'll take Flame on it. One Frost by itself isn't worth that much, but with the... With the Minefield, it might be a little bit more potent. You almost got me, you, you lucky so-and-so. You did get me, you lucky so-and-so. Um, madam, you're gonna be okay. It's gonna sting, but you're gonna be okay. But yeah, this this is too strong. We will not lose, I promise you this now. Now, if we fought the shopkeeper, we would probably lose. <laughs> but we will not be fighting the shopkeeper. As a result, we should be fine. Just, just be frosty here. Do you see that? I'd like to dodge up, please. I'd like to dodge up, please. Because of her fragility. Oh. This is a big root situation. Oh! The root and the send. Dude! With the spell power bonus. It's to Get out of here! I know. She's the one we want to save so she can res us. I ain't scared about that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We don't have the mana. We don't have the mana to afford it. This is getting out of control. I'm I'm a little scared at how good this deck is. Um, sure, let's start knocking out the equipment. Um, the equipment characters are a little scary to me sometimes. Oh, 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 the sound, dude. The sound. Oh, my God. This is just a beautiful thing. I know I've been saying this more and more. I think it's a good sign. I've been saying it more and more, though. This is like... The best burst damage we've ever had. I think. Maybe? I think it is, though. Forget the shop for now. They must have released a patch that buffs the amount of gold that comes out. Oh, good stuff. <laughs> You're still taking some heat, but you, you, we got so much spell power and max HP coming off of these hostages. Like, this is just ridiculous. We will, I mean, I'm open to taking some cards. We got upgrades in reserve to, to get them up to, you know, combat readiness. Go ahead, hit me. See if I care. He didn't even do anything. He just sat there. Because of our spell power, we don't even need to use... Uh... <laughs> Almost healed. Tough break. We don't even need to use uh... whatever that spell is called. Hold on. Ambient Burst? We don't even need to use that as a finisher. I actually think that means we just take Minigun as well, just because our spell power is so high. We got like... 
no reason to even try to force the Trinity synergy. Just just send it right down Main Street, dude. <laughs> Are you hearing the sounds? You love to hear that. This one, you just got to accept we're, we're taking some heat. Help. You know what? This will work. Yeah. I had a feeling that would be okay. Anything that does multiple damage is just... Or, like, anything that does a little bit of damage times multiple shots is just unbelievably good right now. Good hit. You just had to pick your moment. We can do it. We did it. If you're below 50% HP, which we don't expect to happen, um, you start your battles with spell power and haste. Hazel is... Uh, oh, my. Hazel is gun character. I don't even know what I was doing, dude. But the flames were doing some serious work there, I feel. Gun character is probably... If I had to do, like, a revised power rankings of the bosses that are most annoying to me... Gun ki <laughs> That's the splash damage. Now I get it. Gun lady would be pretty close to the top of the list for, like, most annoying characters in the game. Um, without a doubt. No joke. Let me out. Thank you. Oh, I just, I, w I would, wrong phase of the boss fight. But oh my god, the damage. We did take a hit there, but relatively small in the whole scheme of things. Um, honestly, I feel like we might want to go for the half genocide run just because of the fact that, like the half being kill everything but the shopkeeper. So I honestly think like the wall is too easy at this point. I think the wall is just a little bit, uh, it's, it's too baby mode, I hate to say it. The right plan, in my opinion, what's happening? You're in trouble. <laughs> the right plan, in my opinion, is, uh, spice things up a little bit and force you to fight the, isn't the, the half genocide run is like, you go through the whole floor. Maybe? I don't really remember. I think it might be. You're, you're alive? Not for long. I mean, what is our spell power at? This is, this is getting ridiculous. Shot deals damage equal to your current money. Just give me the mana regen when we're low. I mean, we could avoid the shop. That does not bother me very much at all. Oh, we, we didn't have to get hit by that. That's an embarrassment. That one makes a lot more sense. <laughs> hit every other tile. And lower target's defense by five. Pretty, pretty interesting, I'll admit. We can save them both, is it? I mean, straight up, right off the bat, we got you. And I was going to say, right off the bat, we got you. 32, 43, 32, 43, times 12, that'll work. Sounds like a Limp Biscuit lyric. If you double cast a crack, does it break? It doesn't appear to break it. Based on what I'm seeing from the, the animation. If it did, I would probably go for it. Because it would pay for itself mana-wise in like a couple of seconds. You love that. Shoot. You're okay. Easy kill. Oh! <laughs> Dude, this deck is insane. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. 2x damage, you consume shots plus 2 bonus, two, 20 shield. Um, it's good if we had the max mana to cast it, which we don't. So I really think that we're getting more value out of... Help. 
Oh, you love to see it. The splash damage is so good, dude. It took 200 HP off the enemy I didn't even hit. You know what else would crush with splash damage? Um, this one... Sarah cannon. But we'd have to buy an upgrade to make it work, which is now... Not likely. It's a polite way to put it. Um, um, you're okay. I would just hang out down here for a second. Well, you know, it happens. That's okay. Oh, now we're going. How did that miss you? You're lucky. You're you're very lucky. I'll even, I'll go a step further. I'll hit you with the very. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Then, my lord, I feel like the splash damage is also hitting the boss because they happen to have the audacity to stand there. Slash every tile in front. If you have fragile, teleport targets in front of you. I just don't know what that does, but it's very interesting. We can't afford it though, so we, as we don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah, give me the upgrade. Even though the chance to do 999 damage is good, I think the upgrader obviously is more consistent and lets us build towards what we want, which is splash damage on the Sarah Cannon, I think? If that's not there, um, piercing is a, is a hilarious pickup. Um, yeah, let, let's put piercing on it. Um, not, not useful for bosses, but very useful for enemies in advance of this. And, it, do like, I... You do it on move, okay. You'd love to see it. It's going to be very tough to get me to spend money. Not just in real life, but in the game. Um, I think that, you know, doing a thousand damage with the Sarah Cannon is like backdooring in um, a way for us to basically get Shizo's ultimate ability, but for us specifically, which is just like, like, and we didn't even go through like the hard part. You know, we just went through, we just did the fun part of just like, oh, it works amazingly. Not to mention, like, we have almost twice as much HP as you start with normally. I think we might have, like, like literally twice as much HP as you start with normally. Whoops. This is, this is a mess. If you're an enemy, you don't want to run into this. Now, I'll, all I'm going to say is that... We, we have way more HP than I thought. I didn't realize we'd actually lost some. What gives? Alright, there's some in return. Watch out for the cactus. You know how this goes. Cactus ain't joking around. Now run. Oh, that worked out very well, actually. Uh, I will say, I don't know. If we have to do the whole world, I think the whole world... Could mill some HP off of us, because I don't understand every single enemy we're going to come across. But, yeah, forget the shop, dude. I know we have removal, so we could take a pact, but I think I'd rather just make our HP as high as possible. And, I mean, we're just cruising. I'm actually... I screwed that up. We, we could have had more, more courage. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Oh, you're done. Let's go. That did 102 damage on every hit? That's insane? What's happening? I don't I don't know how much spell power I got, but I'm I'm willing to say unequivocally, it's too much. I've been given I've been given too much spell power. <laughs> it is a little touchy. To dodge, but oh my, oh my! I would just shuffle. I wouldn't worry about prophecy here. Help! My man was trapped. I, it's just no chance. If you ever get stuck with a line, you're done. A line has become the the best spell we could ever ask for. Oh, 10 damage when something does 40 or more? Everything does 40 or more, dude. I didn't save anybody. So yeah, we're going we're going full level strats. Half life, full life consequences.
Okay, so it is it is a little hot. Whoa! We took some damage. We didn't flawless it, but we kept things kept things moving. Two thousand HP, dude. We don't consume very much. We'll, we'll take the fox, I suppose. Well, welcome to the show. Oh, the music. We haven't been here very much. I did way more damage than I expected. When you have flow, you have extra defense. We do give flow quite often. I'm not even bothering with the shields up. The shields up does not seem relevant to me. What are you? Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, I think we flawlessed you because it was within seven seconds, but that was a little, a little scary. Um, do you believe me now when I said this might be the most powerful run we've ever had? The piercing, the piercing money shot. Oh my god. Save the hostage. Uh, shuffle. Orbital beams, please. We actually got them. I am stunned. I, I do like the Hey Guys icon. I think that one's particularly, particularly special. No, madam. I will not shoot you. I think we should gain an upgrade. And then just remove that pact. Just be careful. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. We have one upgrade. Most important upgrade would probably be to minigun. If we can get a status effect on it, it's even better. Double cast, also pretty good. I mean, our mana has not been a real problem for us. It's Eden. You're so lucky. <laughs> Before you fight me, you should know that I make my own rules. I know. You move around. I don't know why you have to make it so dramatic. Uh, let me send it! Okay. Adam? Are we moving now? You know what? You are causing me some problems. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dispute that. Please just get rid of prophecy. Oh my god, do something. Uh, you know what? Let me out. Thank you. May I? Oh, it landed. Not a good cast. Let me go. Okay, we're we're back. You know, we got a we got a little lost in the sauce temporarily. Let's go, dude. We got a little lost in the sauce temporarily, and then we definitely, we got it figured out. It's not a hard spell to get around, it's pretty easy. That was painful. Not as painful as that was though. I'm immortal, so you might be trying a bit too hard. My duty is to protect Eden, but I guess it's a bit late for that. The only way is to turn everything back. Maybe you'll make better choices next time. So that's a that's a dub. That's a win right there. Well, we're not going to try to super loop. Because um, honestly, I think this run right here... You know what? Let's try, let's try to go one more ring around the sun. And this time we'll go full save. Why would I do this? Well, I think, first off, it's going to make for great marketing when it comes to the video. And just save as many hostages as possible, and you will be... It's going to be a dream come true. Um, like... Did you see that? Secondly, I ain't ever done anything like this before. So I think it's going to be kind of interesting. You're very tanky. Now, all I would say is I would really enjoy it if you didn't have such a big shield. Um, but yeah, I think we can do both runs at once. Why not? And we're, do you see the kind of cards we're getting here? This is this is just absurd. I don't know. We might even go till we drop, but don't quote me on that one. Uh, 
Because the enemies are definitely... Oh my god, we dodged it? The enemies are definitely going to be a lot harder. That's one way to do it. You know, the most classic way to kill an enemy. Break a tile and then have that tile shoot them. Very simple. It's a very simple, simple strategy. I saw the line on that one. And I felt like it was going to work. As long as we don't push the enemy back, a line just does, like, disgusting damage. I don't even want to look at our spell power. Like, it's plus 38. <laughs> oh! That is good stuff. Oh, we did get hit. Oh, we're getting hit a little. That's okay. That's okay. Plus 38 spell power. In context, what does that mean? Um, well, if something would do one damage, now it does almost 40. So multiply that by, you know, 12 shots per attack for some of this stuff. And we got, we got a real solid setup. I think you should really just... We got a little lucky there, I'm not going to deny it. We could have ended up taking a big hit. Apply Frost on Trinity. I mean, every spell is so good, I feel bad for just not even reading them, but... Part of the reason I'm just playing it cool right now is because, uh... Our, our money shot... Just does so much damage. Oh my god. Stay away from me. That's that's real damage. All of these bosses are tanky as heck, by the way, right now. That was potentially a little close. Get frozen, please. Thank you. Did not get frozen. Oh, you're lucky. A little bit more dangerous. No denying that. That's not a smart idea on my part. But you know what? It's the first time as well. We've been challenged in a while. Now you, I'm going to save you all this time. So I do appreciate the HP in return. I ain't ever done a loop like this before. This is a very scary time for me as a, as a human being. Now you've injected a little bit of life into this. Oh, let's go, dude. Anytime we start with that spell, it's over. Especially as our money continues. I mean, we do 2,000 damage with that attack. If we want two hostages, shuffle. We're really looking for orbital beams. Oh my god. We actually got it. Now give me that and don't look. <laughs> gain five spell power. That did say gain, right? Gain five spell power, but shield decays slowly. Oh, I was at first I was like, shield decays slowly is bad. Or, and because I thought it was... Let me rephrase. Ahem. I thought shield decays slowly was a good thing instead of your shield de decaying quickly. But actually, your shield decaying slowly is in contrast to the norm, which is it doesn't decay at all. Good shot. Help. <laughs> oh, I knew we were taking a, some heat on that one. Got out of it just fine, but yeah, it's a little hotter. It's a little hotter. Like, because we're keeping enemies or all of our bosses alive, I feel like this is uh, not actually that dangerous. Um, that obviously sucked pretty bad. One of, one of these? We, we can't just afford to be tanking the hits. We actually need to carry a little bit more of a floating balance of HP. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the luck. I, let's see how weird the cards can get. This is obviously the most experience heavy run I've ever had. Heal me up. And because we kept that guy alive, he's going to heal us as well. How much? Oh, you don't, you don't heal me. You give me money? That's also pretty good. Um, good luck. I can't believe it continues to work. That's just, that's a staggering amount of good luck. Gain two max mana, lose 300 HP. Look, we have HP to spare, but I still don't really want to do it. 
Okay, Violet, a little, a little spooky. That's a good start, though. Oh my. Little, little harder to deal with. That's great news, though. <laughs> Do something. Oh. <laughs> oh, things are getting a little hot there. Okay, keep it moving. Keep it moving and we're looking for uh, the camp icon. As that's going to be real sick for us. Oh lord. Get toasted. Okay, not bad, not bad. Still getting flawless is 10 levels deep. I feel like we might want to like save removals for the loop. And then use the removals on base cards. And just take the upgraded cards. We still don't need this. Even even though it doesn't cost us like anything. In terms of opportunity cost, there's no real risk to it. But there might be some risk later if we can get the full HP off of something. So That's not what I meant to do. It's more like this is what I meant to do. I'll tell you, I wouldn't feel too bad about getting rid of mine on this one. I feel like mine is no longer that relevant. And is making our deck worse by just keeping it a little bloated. So I think... Oh, we don't have removal because we use it on a pact. Okay. That's fine. If we live through this, we'll go to a campfire. That's pretty much where we wanted that to be. We're just focusing on the dodge for now. Do you ever go back? Like... Or is this just what life looks like now? You're in a world of hurt. <laughs> I enjoyed that one. Heal me. Thank you. Thank you. Wrap vertically around the field. Still interesting. I think flame damage reduces by one is pretty good in addition to the minefield, but or in conjunction with the minefield, but still, I, I think this will be a pretty spiced floor for us. So, let me tell you right off the bat, would not necessarily recommend my, my line of reasoning on this one. We, may, we ended up making it work, but we, we boxed ourselves in a little bit. Poison never drops below 10. Okay. Spend all mana. Nah, 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 nah. Right now, it's all about making 1,000 HP work against this boss. And there's a great start in here. Now, step one, believe you can dodge the shots. That's a tough one to dodge. When it hits all four. Good stuff! R shuffle up! Well, we did it. Um, yo, I got an achievement. Cold, dead hands. Be level 2 Selicy, maybe? I don't know. Perhaps. Okay, get ready, because you're not going to be safe for quite some time. <laughs> you know what we do? We just get... You, we bait you and get ready for that. We, we shouldn't have ate the hit, but... I'm, I'm a little surprised we're still going. Although I'll admit, by the end of the last one, I would have been, like, stunned if we died somehow. I mean, what are you doing? Oh, no. Well, we basically let one of the hostages get yeeted. Might have been the right decision for our HP. Like, what are we doing here? 
Fire missiles at random enemies. They gain 40 shield on flow, pierce shield, gain two flow, add a jam to your deck. Shots plus four and jam, 25% chance to leave a flame on hit. Okay, whatever. We got mana regen to burn. Shoot missiles at targets. That sounds nice. You got some great stuff going here. Keep it going. That, that could have gone better. We do have a camp coming up, though. We're leveling up soonish, which could give us another heal. <laughs> just, just surviving. It didn't even free the snake. It killed the snake. Oh my god. Flawless? Maybe? That was fast. It was a flawless. Oh my word. And we leveled up. Just give me the blue lightning, brother. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. As, as much heal as you can muster, I'll take it. <laughs> Something's happening. It, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if I could have saved you. The splash damage was too good. While you have fragile, apply fragile. When you hit a target, gain one fragile at the start of battle. Sounds fantastic, especially when applied to our high spell power super yeet spells, such as this one. Um, okay. That's a little tough. That's <laughs> a little tough to dodge. Just shuffle and get your... Get your incredible uh, high damage gun spell. That's the play, dude! Let's go! And then she's gonna give us a res. Oh my god, we're still cruising. The world could use more people like you. I can't believe we're still we're still going strong here. Don't even cast it yet. You know what you're doing. But don't even cast it yet. You send it there. Oh baby! Oh okay, okay, I see what you're doing. That's a flawless. We're still cruising on the flawlesses. Gambit is, is pretty interesting, honestly, but... I mean, I think we're gonna have to get inventive to stay in front of the way things are going here. Because they're not really... going super well. I don't think they're in a bad place, necessarily, but... It's really like one lapse of attention pretty much just ruins you. I'm gonna tell you, tell you honestly, healing for 40 is probably not gonna move the needle in the direction that we, we would need to. Um, right here. That's just beautiful. I was really hoping that worked. Otherwise, we were just going to take a 1 in 16 chance for a mine to get you. Um, oh, you love to start with this. I am a little confused. Oh, I think I hit my own uh, turret there, which is... Uh, I mean, that came with the level. I'm not sweating it. Okay, we're gonna have to do some. We're gonna have to do some serious work here. There, oh, never mind. There's a campfire, and we have a res, so don't sweat it too much. The res is not gonna take you probably back to where you need to go back, but it's something. Uh, yeah, yeah. See that it was a flawless, right? It was a flawless. Got hit, like, once. Come on! <laughs> I got 600 HP, dude! Uh, I don't know about this one, brother. Prophecy, a little spicy. It, you did you did good. You did, you did so well! Oh, my word. The burst damage potential is off the freaking chain. The fragility combined with the, the spell power from minigun and a line, and then our obviously our yeet gun is just like unbelievably good. I didn't do anything. We won. I didn't do anything. Gain four spell power, lose four defense. Straight up, 
The spell power is... Uh, we should have gone for the fragile bonus, I think. The spell power, four, doesn't mean anything to me anymore. Like, four spell power is like a joke. Thank you. Th I appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm not going to take extra defense loss just to get a little spell power. But, I mean... Some is is working, buddy. Like you're already toasted. I'm safe for a long time. Oh, what is our max HP yet? I don't even. I don't know if I want to know. What is our max age? Is it twenty eight fifty? I I don't know what's happening. Um, you're dead, right? Yeah, like super dead. You're 3,200 gold. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It just means with fragility, our 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 super money gun. It's only doing uh, you know like 5,000 damage in a single hit. Nothing nothing too serious. You're so toasted. It's like, it's not even funny. I've never seen this can't carry any more artifacts. We broke it. We've officially broken the game. We're full on artifacts. Now you could start removing them, I guess, if you wanted to. And trying to self-select the best available. Um... I've increasingly come to accept that, you know, we're just going to get hit. Oh, that's a whiff. Oh, you, you dare not move forward. This has not been that bad. And that has never been so good. I mean, what are you going to say? You just love to see it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Moving onwards yet again. Dude, we're actually getting stronger as time goes on. I'm, I, like, obviously that's what you'd expect, by the way. Goodbye. Um, but, like, this is so much further ahead of what I would have possibly expected. You know I'm thinking, what if you go fight the shopkeeper? On your loop. And you just one tapper with the with fragility plus the the money gun. But she's gotta have at least 10k HP by now. Plus oh maybe we can get to her in one second. It's, it wasn't even close. We had nothing to worry about whatsoever. Maybe this is a chance. Wouldn't mind being at full HP first. No, we can't get to her on this one because of my my stupid pathing, but... Just never stop shooting, huh? <laughs> oh, dude, everybody gains fragile. Let's go. I'm I'm ready for that. Well, goodbye. It's like a thousand damage in one second. Okay, by the way, you can't carry any more artifacts, so just be be aware of the fact that you can't carry any more artifacts because you're, you're you're tapped out. You're done. You're done, bud. Well, so is everybody that had the misfortune of standing in that vicinity. Oh, 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 this is this is some good stuff. All right, Hazel, Gun Lord, very frightening. I'll admit. 10k HP, no, no joke. Prophecy, a little scary. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Hey, let me get up there. I wanna. 
I want to I want to dodge. I want to be able to dodge. That's that's the hit we wanted. You let's go. Yeah, take on some fragility. Take some fragility. Call me in the morning cuz you're dead. Don't call me in the morning cuz you're dead. Thanks. I'll build you something nice sometime. Oh. <laughs> Approaching Eden. Womp womp. Oh yes, it's lady this time. I remember. My personal game plan here would look a little bit like except that things are going to be tricky. And just like I really just can't afford to not cast a line for value. But it, it's there's some danger in here. We are taking damage, no doubt about that. That helped. Dude. Dude! Yo! At least break these for mana regen. She's toasted. I was just gonna tell you, she's toasted. She's coming back. A I'm ending this. I don't think so. I don't think you are. Because I'm coming back to life. With 100 HP? Oh, this is the end. I forgot. This is the win. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Um, well, to be honest, I think there's a chance I probably could have taken out the shopkeeper there. Um, if I had actually gone for it. But on the other hand, we had definitely, without a doubt, the best Eden win that we've ever had in my entire... Uh, my entire game. So that was quite remarkable. It's easy to forget that's also the first time we won with Terra. <laughs> what? That was incredible. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, and an hour-long Eden run, it was good for the goose, is good for the gander, brother. You love to see it. You, there's nothing about it you don't love to see. I've, I've got my groove back in Eden. That was just, that was just disgusting. That's alright, skip scene. I mean, you, I, you got all my respect anyway, by this point. Um, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed um, One Step from Eden. As we will skip the scene here yet again. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this episode of One Step from Eden. If you did, and I'm assuming if you watched all 57 minutes and 54 seconds up to this point that you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. It's the single best way to help me as a content creator. It tells YouTube, hey, this is great content. Show it to more people. It tells me, hey, make more content like this because you did a great job. Um, but for now, apart from that, thanks for watching. I'll be in the comments soaking up dopamine. And I'll see you next time. See ya.